Everyone always says, when in doubt, just use a hash map. But why? Why exactly is it so fast? To fully appreciate hash maps, let's first look at arrays. They offer constant time lookup, that means if we want to check value at some specific position, they work super fast. They work just as fast when we want to add an element at the end of the array or change value at some specific position. But they are slow to check if some element is already present in the array. To do that, we have to check one by one until we find what we're looking for. That's O of n time complexity and being the size of the array, compared to O of 1 for other operations. When it comes to hash maps, they're like arrays on steroids. They store values like arrays, but instead of integer positions, we can use whatever we want. We call the positions keys. They usually work just as fast as arrays, but checking if some specific element is already present here takes all of one time. So how do they work? Well, same as everything in life, it's all just a large array behind the scenes. If we want to store some key value pair inside, let's say for example 3 sum, nice, then our program uses some special function called the hash function that takes 3 sum and translates it into an integer. Takes the reminder of that integer when divided by the array size and then stores nice at this position. But what if some two keys have the same hash value or the same reminder when divided by size? That's called a hash collision and there are many ways of dealing with it. Follow me if you want to max out your coding.